So I don't normally unbox power supplies, but uh, nah, content is content. And if you're content with it, that's what we'll be doing. So let's start with the Cooler Master MWE Gold 1050 V2 full modular power supply. It's an 80 plus gold certified. You don't want to go anything less than gold certified generally. I've got the box, it's got lots of information stuff, fan type, it's got silent fan feature, 90% typical load. Uh, it is set specifically for like connecting 30 series, but 40 series should be fine. I think they have an adapter with the 40 series. So when we unbox that one, we'll find out what's what. And there's old tag down there. And these will probably be separate videos because I don't want them to run too long altogether. Uh, increased operating temperature, upgraded fan, RTX ready as you see, but this is for 30 series. You can get like an ATX, a new ATX power supply one that has the cable that goes straight in, but we're going to have a, no problems with that. So it's no big deal. You get more cables with this model than the previous one I have, which is the 850 model of the Cooler Master. Cooler Master ones I'm pretty much a fan of. They work really well, good reliability. So I typically go for the things that work well in the past. So I haven't had any problems with these power supplies before. And there will be a link to it in the Amazon if you want to support the channel for free because you are buying your own power supply for whatever your needs are and including buying a 4080 which might be more sensible than a this especially if you're gonna do gaming don't buy a 49 if you're just doing gaming unless you're incredibly rich don't do it if you're doing rendering ai stuff 3d rendering high level stuff you should go for it maybe if you can afford it so we have a user guide here just kind of to pick up on safety instructions, power supply unit, and so forth. It's a fold out one. Again, I don't normally unbox these because there's not usually anything exciting to show, is there? It's just a power supply. But maybe people want to see. So we'll pull it out there. Alright, let's start with the boring stuff actually, as we usually do. So there's the actual. Oh, it's got that smell, guys. It's got that smell of new. That's the. Uh, power adapter looks like a normal standard length good stuff and included in the box we have obviously all the cables how much how much of each we have so yeah we have ATX pin one one EPS 441 EPS 8 pin times one PCI Express times three uh, SATA times three, that's for your hard drives and such. And then peripheral four pin times one. I think that's correct. You know, you can read that, I can see that clearly. So you can pause and read if you need to know. Remember the links will be on Amazon as well. And then we also have the screws to tie into the back of your uh, case. Top, bottom, whichever type style of case you have. I have a, a Cooler Master. I have a cooler master case. Go figure. I'm a fan. So the question is as well, will the will the graphics card fit? I've made done my measurements, but you don't know till you know. I'll probably record that maybe. But let's just have a proper look at this, and then that be the unbox for this power supply. This cool cool cooler master power supply. What's this thing on top here? I'll make sure I don't get static electric with this uh, these gloves. Fan will, fan will not spin until a specific core temperature is reached. Okay, so yeah, it's just confirming what it says there. And what I have is I do have a tester, guys. So I'm going to use the test kit and I'll probably record that to show you. So, oh gosh, it's got that smell. Sometimes you like it and sometimes you don't. Let me show you all the inputs here. So we have there and underneath information on the side and model numbers and such inputs and then the connections you can see there pretty heavy as you probably expect but yeah all good four PCI PCIEs there and the inputs well actually six yeah so more than enough for our needs. All right, how long are we running? 
five minutes. So I just want to show you the test kit thing and then we'll uh, be finished with the unbox part of the video. So let's pause. Okay, I think I'm all set up here. So this is the device, power supply tester. I think this was, this is one coming like Chinese instructions or something like that. Anyway, they're basically all good. So um, Amazon link again, use the main Amazon link if you're gonna get one. And uh, I'll try and link to this specific one. You connect uh, the motherboard connector to the power supply itself, obviously. Then you connect the power cable to the power supply. Make sure it's on off. We then switch on the mains, as I've done there. And you simply switch on the power supply and if it's working properly, it will stay on and it'll show you numbers. So just do like so. And you can see it's all good. Three volts. So again, I can't really get it on the camera because it's kind of wild. Oh, we can, there we go. I'm a pro at this, see? Bad boy. But that's working. If it, The one I had that wasn't working one time, and it wasn't this mod, it was a Corsair, it would come on and come off right away. But as you can see, it's staying on, so that's perfect. So let's turn it off. And there we go, wicked. All right, so we success, we've successfully tested the power supply, the Cooler Master, 1050 watt. And we also unboxed it, but not in that order. So now on the screen, there should be related videos, which should include the unboxing of the device that has caused us to buy a thousand watt supply in the first place, the GeForce RTX 4090 Zoltec Gaming. So click that, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And don't forget to use those Amazon links if you're also feeling a little bit retro and investing in some stuff and want to support the channel for free. Oh, man. Why I need some money. Thank mm -hmm. you.